Hi guys and welcome back to Max Electronics. In today's video we will be doing something uh, slightly different. So I've bought a 737 and no, not a Boeing, it's the welding station that uh, has a problem. Well, it doesn't really have a problem, but the problem is when I turn it on, if I don't hit the button, power button accidentally, uh, exactly at the zero crossing or near there, uh, it trips the circuit breaker, uh, the main one for the house. Uh, the circuit breaker is 20 amps, the station is rated at 10 amps. So when I flick it, if I get lucky, which is not often, it will literally trip the 20 amp circuit breaker. And what I usually have to do, leave the station on and I have to go and flip the circuit breaker while the station's on, that's the only way to power it up. Uh, sometimes I get lucky and I flip it and it's fine. So I'm going to be designing a little a relay, solid state relay, to turn the station on, uh, still original switch and everything, at the zero crossing. This way, the cap that is charging is going to be charged smoothly, instead of just, you know, shorting out pretty much the, the 240. So, uh, the design is, those relays, uh, some of them work as, as uh, turn on at the zero crossing, and some of them will turn on at uh, random. So, that letter A, that means it's going to turn on at zero crossing. The B1 is usually random. Uh, so this is a uh, single phase, 230 volts, um, the D means it's 3 to 32, and 25 is amps, and we've got load, um, uh, load uh, line, line, and that's negative and positive, it works from 3 to 32 volts. So this is a schematic that I've designed, and what we have here is um, life coming in, after the switch, not before, after the switch that turns it everything on. Uh, the life goes straight to the life of the relay, to L1 here. Then we've got fuse, uh, which I've used 315 milliamps, that's plenty. Then we've got uh, one of four 400 volts capacitor with a 740k 1 watt discharge resistor. On the neutral we have uh, one line going to load and then we have a half a watt 360 ohm resistor we've got the bridge rectifier 100 uh, microfarad 25 volts capacitor after the bridge rectifier 30 volts diode and that's all going that's going to be generating 5.8 volts and that's going to go into the uh, input of the A1 and A2 solve solid state relay and that should turn it on so what happens is if we apply the voltage um, to the system this is going to generate 5.8 volts and turn on the relay but the relay is not going to out uh, pass through current through the uh, ac until it hits the zero crossing just like triax do so when it hits the zero crossing it'll turn on and then it'll charge the capacitor smoothly without uh, tripping the circuit breaker so i've got all the components ready here uh, this is little standoffs because we're going to be mounting it inside the case and i'm using a uh, what, what do you call the perf boards but you may have noticed that I've drilled out a lot and that's going to be the AC section the 240 so the bridge rectifier is going to be sitting just here it's a little discrete one and we've got live here and neutral on this side this way there is no um, spacing so it's an isolation it's all separated uh, because I didn't really didn't want to leave those in uh, on this side I left it fine because it's 5.8 volts there is no problem so uh, the components we will need, I've already said it here, the fuse is 350, there it is, 315 milliamps, so it's a PCB one. Uh, let me assemble this together and solder it all. Uh, by the way, the, the high of, uh, I've only got 30 volts, so this one is 32 volts max, which is fine, you don't want to exceed this, that's why I've put a 30 volts, I could have put 5.8 or anything, but just in case we don't want it to exceed 32 volts, that's why I chose a 30 volt Zener. Now I'm going to assemble this together according to the schematic and then we will plug it in and see if relay will turn on. So this is the board completely done. You can see with the standoffs and little bridge rectifier on the back here. All the components on the top. Uh, I am going to, I'm going to test it first, but I'm going to spray it with a lacquer, PCB lacquer just to isolate it, you know, somewhat. Uh, it's connected to relay, so this one is not connected to anywhere, that's the output. Uh, this is live, this is neutral. So let's turn it on and see if that little LED will light up. Um, where's the power button? 
here we go yep and as you can see uh, let me shield the light yep the LED is on with no problems so I'm going to turn it off and uh, lacquer that and then we'll install it inside of that uh, welding station and see if um, it'll stop tripping my circuit breaker all right so I have installed the uh, solid state relay and that little power supply board for it at the back here uh, it shouldn't be getting hot because uh, the the only way for this to power on this only switch mode power supply which draws pretty much nothing the only way for it to draw a lot of current is when we're using transformer and that usually just brief pulse so that shouldn't be getting hot at all especially being rated at 25 amps uh, then it was a little tricky to get the um, switches as you can see it's actually live right now so well it's not I haven't turned it on yet so I haven't tried it but it is plugged in those contacts right there as you can see they are um, on board and the board slides onto the switch so those switches out the front here uh, so it was really tricky I had to literally cut a piece of circuit board out and uh, wire that red wire that goes to the solid state relay separately there is a switch mode power supply on board here so the transformer is only powered when we power the um, welder so if I turn the charger on uh, that should be just fine there's no problem there's never been any problems with that that powers the USBs that little output and the fan on top and this is the welder so I've made sure my camera is on the battery uh, my audio recorder is on the battery everything switched off so we're gonna turn that on and see if it'll go bang ready okay so the relay is on but there is no power I wonder why okay so let me investigate why is that not working I have figured out what happened so uh, the current drawn by that little board that drives the whole thing uh, is very low so we're not driving transformer directly the transformer is driven when those contacts go up and uh, then it pulses the transformer so because there is no load technically it's a, such a small load uh, on the uh, solid state relay the triac is not really activating and that's why we didn't see anything so I've added a little NTC across here as you can see and that gives it a little bit of a load enough to trigger the triac inside the relay and now if we turn it on no problem and nothing is tripping either so that's a good sign so again I'll turn it off so it is working fine that's working fine as well so now I don't have a uh, trip problem with my circuit breaker I'm going to put it all back together and put it back on the shelf where it belongs that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, if you'd like to support me on patreon at max electronics you're welcome to do so there's also some cool projects that you can download from there this is it for today's video. My name is Max. I will see you next time. Bye.